hand. How in the world are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Man, I made one of my heroes. Well, you don't. <laughs> if I could sit and tell, well, I, well, I hope to eventually get to tell you the story. Uh, I've, I've followed you for you don't even know You're how long. You're kidding? No, I mean actually, wow. there's, there's a lot. I'll tell you a little bit later. But um, uh, when she told me, she said somebody named Cuz Strickland contacted us, and I was sitting in a chair looking at going over some YouTube stuff. I just stopped. I said. Cuz Strickland, she oh goes, my God. she goes, yeah, I said, you know, I said, come on, you just kidding me, and she said, no, I'm serious, who, who is that? I said, you don't know who <laughs> Well, hello, guys, this is Danny back from Deep South Homestead here. We are, uh, had a great day today. We've actually, um, going to be spending some time with old Cuz Strickland, a uh, really, really, uh, great guy. Uh, him and his daughter, Lauren, have been with us here today. Uh, visiting with us. We've been shooting a new podcast. It's over on uh, Spotify, iTunes, and uh, it will come out and air on August the 3rd. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, this was done with Cuz Strickland from, a lot of y'all may be familiar with, uh, if you're a hunter, uh, it used to be on a program called Mossy Oaks Hunting the Country several years ago uh, with Toxie Hayes. Uh, so Cuz come down and spent some time with us. Uh, he's got his own new uh, new program now called A Fistful of Dirt. That's over on, like I said, Spotify um, and or one of these other platforms like this that y'all many y'all saying you can't get to. So guys, when we get the link, we're gonna put it down below here so that you can go and watch the whole video in full over on the new link. And maybe uh, I really pray that you'll enjoy it because we have thoroughly enjoyed having him here today actually shooting this podcast. I think it'll be educational and I really believe you'll enjoy the podcast. Yeah. The gas bowl and everything's got a shaft that goes up in the tank. Still doing the same thing. And I was like, because it's gravity fed. Right. It ain't. I couldn't figure it out. And that down there by us, there's this Mennonite. And he's about 70 years old, and I was talking to him. He said, well, let me come look at it. He knew everything right. about men and uh, tractors. And we took that off, and he had that bowl in his hand, his shaft. And he looked down there and he said, uh, well, give me a quarter-inch drill bit in the drill. And when they had molded that thing, some of the lead, I guess, it didn't come apart. You know, it was like uh -huh. it would stop that shaft. And he'd drill that thing out, and we put it back on there, and boom, cranked right out of it. I would have not found that in a million right. years. Right. Some seventy-year-old guy who's worked on it a while. He said, "He said them new parts ain't no good. You should have found you no." <laughs> the big issue is permaculture. Yep. Once you learn permaculture, most things take care of themselves. Uh, high tops? Is that what? No, you're... but just nature. Yeah. So I lived in the woods almost eleven years, and you once you learn wildlife. Uh, I, I could literally talk with the animals. I mean, yeah. she gets a she gets a kick out of me every now and then. I'll sit here and I'll go, there's a snake on that hill back over there. And she says, how do you know? I said, the birds are telling me he's there. Yeah. And, and we'll go back there, and sure enough, there he'll be. Yeah. For the owls, I'll sit and bring them all up, and we'll all sit and have a conversation. You know, and yeah. Stuff like that. Once you learn wildlife, how they work, learn how nature grows, trees, what trees grow where, what grows up under trees is that's permaculture. So I went there and I asked the lady, would she sell one of them? And she said, yeah. I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I said, I built all your kitchen cabinets. I said, I'll knock off some of the price for one of them if you, if you were willing to do that. You know? And she said, oh, I would do that. You know? And I brought it home. And when I got it here, I set it in here. And I told Wanda, I said, I can't put that in this house. She said, why? I said, because it's old. And I said it was coming apart in places and stuff like that. So I sit down. I used to do architectural drawings. Uh -huh. So I sit down and I drew every individual part of that Hoosier cabinet on a print. Mm -hmm. And I went to the shop and I built the exact replica of it. And I added a few things that wasn't actually in that one and put into this one. You to make keep it, the original? No, I sold it to a guy who worked for the power company. <laughs> yeah, and I'm assuming y'all always lived out in the country? Yes. Uh, uh, what, the only time we didn't live in the country is when my father married my mother. They lived in uh, in town, but soon right after marriage, uh, they moved out to a rural area. And from that point forward, we've always lived in the country. If you uh, if you you'll end up going to Danny's uh, and Wanda's YouTube channel, 
And I'm telling you, it's amazing because you, I mean, I got real wound up in the in the pond in the catfish thing. I got a question there for that smoking and how to do it right, and those are through stages and all that. But you seem to know a little bit about everything. Tell me a little bit about your journey. You know, just what happened to get to this point. I know we we ain't got all day to do that, but that's got to, That's interesting that you've picked up on all that stuff. Got to keep to a time, but I, I got a feeling I'm gonna come back down here and do another one, but. I got to ask you because the knowledge you've gathered over the years, your journey has been very unique. Yes, ma'am. And, and why are you so willing to share that with everybody? Do you just enjoy teaching? Do you want to see people do better, eat healthy? What, what's the, there's got to be some motivation in there for something. This is like, this is like, it's like, like planet of the apes, you know, they landed on the, and they're going around there yeah. like strawberries this big. Look at, look at that. That's unbelievable. These are the seeds every day to harvest them. What do you need to see? You plant them? You plant them, they'll take over the thing. You got mine with this one down. <laughs> I need you that the for flowers. the fiscal dirt. The chickens and all right, cuz, where's Elvis? Right here. You I'm found here. Elvis? Yes, and I'm getting to see stuff I've been seeing on video forever, which is, a, you know, I, you can say I'm easily entertained, but I'm, I'm really not. And I got some people I follow on YouTube, and you, you get to know them, but the thing about following the Deep South Homestead is it's so educational. And I think there's lots of people interested. I know I am, my wife is. And seeing it all in person is a big thrill. You know, it's like me going to Six Flags or something. I'm loving this. But we do have we have an Elvis. Danny, where's Elvis? I don't know where he's at. Um, we have Elvis. He's here somewhere. For real? For real. For real. That's we'll meet Elvis. Where's Elvis? Elvis is in the corner up yonder. I finally found him. He's laying up yonder in the corner. On the far right hand side up in yonder. I don't see him. See that little pink flag? Yeah. He's laying right down below it. That's what? His, that's his head. Is it an alligator? Yep. You're kidding. I told you you'd get to meet Elvis. Get to meet Elvis. Occasionally he'll move around. Now look, cuz ain't real big on reptiles. I'm going to just tell you. <laughs> Elvis was given to us by a subscriber. Really? Yeah. Um, they mailed him here. Are we, you serious? Yeah. <laughs> People are crazy. We got we got him here. and Actually, I did a... If you, if you watch one of my... Uh, live streams one night i came on the air me and him were wrestling in the room in there oh i had him under God. my arm and i was wrestling with him in the in the air and goes what the heck are you doing i said i got elvis over here i said i'm holding on to him i can't <laughs> hold him he wants to move around too much and i stopped and said well really y'all gotta understand it's just his head you know oh is that what it yeah. is <laughs> so i was yeah I got hooked on yep. this is a famous landmark for me danny what is this this is the epic smokehouse this is it, the Taj Mahal. This is the Taj Mahal of Smokehouse. Now this right here was the result of trial and error and trial and error. And you got this one, Mike. This, this, this is perfected. This is perfected. That's this one's perfected, about. yes. He did a fast motion on the thing and got it up to 200 and something degrees because he said people said it would dry preference. <laughs> yeah, it's like some of these ears back here. Of course, we got our famous. Who grows palm granite? and pineapples we're struggling i'm telling you we're struggling with tomatoes and squash trying <laughs> to get some how-to's and you got pineapples palm granites you got do dewberries big as plums growing in the high house <laughs> over there figs pecans he's got field corn that's 11 feet high uh man we got a long way to go i'm telling you what's that term y'all was using free long i told lauren said pop we're freeze-dried preppers. We we don't know what we're doing. I said, well, that's one reason why we're down here right now. We're getting <laughs> we're getting inspiration the whole time. So, unbelievable. Freeze-dried prepper. That's a good term. That's right a good there. term. I actually like that. Kind of just comes in every so often. Oh, we're, we've been trapping I mean, them. And you see, they get to be big old ears of corn. I mean, they get a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. Let's be careful. Yeah, I'm that one but not, we haven't finished all the doors yet. We've only got to finish on these two here and a few of these at the bottom right here. Oh, 
cool. This is pecan on a countertop. It's pecan. There's no air conditioning in here. Oh, it's but it's cool, it's cool in here. It's because of the way I designed it. It's it's way cooler in here than it is outside. I say, you know, here's my here's my take on things. God God gave out talent in buckets and thimbles. I was there on thimble day, and he was there on the bucket. <laughs> That's just the way it works out. That's how it works, I guess. Some of us have to work harder to get a bucket filled up. So. Sassafras, and this is made out of American holly. I love the character, how they're not, like, it's not Yeah, I didn't want anything cutter. square. I, just, I, I didn't want anything square. I just went I through the woods. That. The sassafras of blight has hit it down here in the south. It's all dying. You and see the I center? I lose it anyway, so I went ahead and just cut them down. And I made this and he made the K. And I put the K in the front of it for our last name. Yep. Like I say, buckets and thimbles. <laughs> this is wired. He refinished it. He refinished that and we just put it in. That's a talent. We just put it in a um, couple of months ago. It sat on our porch for a year and a half. Everything I had to custom build everything in here because it wasn't made to fit. Um, well, heck, that ain't nothing for you. All right, guys, we're here today with Cuz and his, his daughter, Lauren, and we have had a blast today. It has been probably the highlight of my life for quite some time now to be able to actually meet an icon in my life. I didn't yeah. know that this moment would ever happen here yeah. in Deep South Homestead, you know? Yeah, well, I'm leaving yeah. humble, I can tell you that. Well, brother, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> the pleasure has been all mine today. Uh, we have thoroughly enjoyed their, uh, their presence with us. And guys... They're going to have a podcast up. We're going to give you some information here in the in the near future. We will be able to go on the date was August the third. August the third, Tuesday. We have a new one every Tuesday. Yours will be August the third. So. Okay. It's called a fistful of dirt. You can go to wherever you get a podcast and just type in a fistful of dirt. It'll come up. It's doing really well. But I got to tell you, <clears throat> I appreciate you saying that. You're kind, and so is Wanda. But I'm leaving here humble for a bunch of reasons because. Uh, I love self-reliance. I love growing food and all that. And we have got education. I told, I told Danny, here's the deal. I said, God gives out talent in buckets and thimbles. And he was there on bucket day and I was there on thimble day. But I've learned a lot and I appreciate your time. Well, I appreciate y'all actually <laughs> taking the effort to come here. And you're always welcome. Let me make that clear. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. I do too. Thank y'all from Deep South Homestead. Jeff there, I... I, I started <clears throat> doing that when I started researching, and we got so tied up in the podcast and all, and it's hard to keep both of them running, but I learned real quick how hard it is to grow subscribers. Again, that's why I admire. Man, when you get to the, the level you guys are, <clears throat> that's an elite group of people, and there's a reason for that. You can't buy your way into that no, meaning. Not that. It's got to be interesting. It's got to be well done, and they got to like it. It's like a guy at ESPN told me one time, we were having this big meeting about TV, and they were looking at me, I was up there in Bristol, Connecticut, and they were looking at me going, <clears throat> that guy don't know nothing about TV. <laughs> and I was looking at them going, they don't know nothing about hunting, and we were both right. Oh, you were, well, to an extent, but yeah. At some point, he slapped his hand down on the table, he said, he said, cuz, great stories and characters never go out of style. And he's right. He's right about that. Because yeah. this is a great story. And you're a great character, so congrats on all your success. That's an amazing accomplishment. Well, I appreciate that.